Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Uh, today we are going to see how you can easily register a GitLab runner to your project. Right. So you know, in one of our uh, previous video, like where I mentioned, like or where I showed, like how we can do the installation of GitLab runner, I mentioned about this uh, registration as well. Right. But in that method, I have used the registration token. Like if you go here, and you'll be getting a registration token. Right. But this particular feature is going to get depreciated soon by GitLab. So here itself, you can see support for registration token is depreciated, right? So uh, I will show you like what is the right approach for doing this uh, registration. Uh, but before to that, what you have to do is first you have to install the GitLab runner. And uh, as I'm using the uh, Windows machine, I already downloaded the exe and I made the installation. And uh, once we install, we'll be getting this a uh, config.toml file, right? and let me go here and in windows you have to create the environment variable as well so let me check for the version GitLab. okay yeah so this is working fine because uh, the version is also showing here right so gitlab is already registered in uh, environment variable so i will show you how you can do this uh, um, registration so before that let me go to config.toml file okay so we have only these many parameters so after registration i will show you what all details will come here right uh, so let me go to project so where we can find this uh, uh, runner you have to go to cicd then you have to go to runner right in settings then click on new project runner okay provide the tag so what is this tag using this tag only your job is going to access this particular runner okay so whatever the tag that you are providing here you need to mention this particular tag in the job which you need to be executed using this particular runner right and what is this run untagged job so if you select this uh, if there is any jobs without any particular tag it will automatically consume this particular runner for the execution okay so i'm not going to uh, use it now and here i'm going to give a description like auto boot runner one okay auto boot runner one and there are other uh, three features like post means like if you want to stop the runner from accepting new jobs you can select this and protected is nothing but like if you just want your pipeline like only the protected branches to consume this particular uh, runner then you can enable this it means like your free feature branches or your unprotected branches cannot access this particular runner right and log to current project means only this particular project like gitlab demo project will be able to access this particular runner right and if there is any other project inside this group uh, that that project cannot access these uh, runners right? so that is a difference um and uh, why this feature is like it will help to add more security to your project for example if you have created a uh, runner uh, for your database or pipeline and you don't want to use that uh, runner for any other purpose right maybe for your deployment or for any uh, maybe for test automation you don't want to consume that then what you can do is you can log that to the particular project right and maximum time timeout also you can set it out based on your requirement but i'm not going to add anything click on create runner okay it will ask for the platform so my machine is windows so i'm going to select a windows and based on your requirement like if it is a linux or mac os you have to select that okay then uh, what is a container whether it is a docker or kubernetes or if it is uh, google cloud you have to select this option okay uh, that's it and uh, let me select this option okay and anyway uh, i'm going to use uh, a docker as the container okay and i have selected this okay so here what is this command like it is going to uh, use this gitlab runner.exe to make the registration to this gitlab.com right and this is a token so let me go here let me run this command okay now it is again asking for again it is asking for the url i'm just clicking on enter okay the name of the uh, runner autobot runner okay autobot runner so what should be the executor i'm going to use a docker because in my machine i already have a docker install and uh, image i'm just going to give it like a docker stable okay so that's it so the registration part is completed 
okay and what is the step two so once this is uh, completed then what's the next step you just need to run this particular uh, step for running that uh, uh, registered runner okay and here you can see runner created so let me execute this runner okay so that's it that also done and at the bottom you can see you have registered a new runner okay so this is very easy like you will get all the comments directly here and you just need to execute it right so let me click on view runners okay and here you can see your runner is online and it is ready to accept the particular jobs right so this is how you can easily uh, set up your gitlab runners uh, as per the new standard from gitlab okay so i hope you got a clear idea about the new process of registration if there is any doubts related to this uh, please put it in the comment section i can uh, explain again okay so thanks for watching the video bye